What is up, nerds? It is Reptil DIY here again, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to remove painted on band logos from your leather jacket or vest. This is a really easy method, so let's get this shit started. All right, all right, so we've all been there before, where you end up painting a logo on your leather jacket, and you end up wanting to remove it eventually to make some more real estate for a new logo to go over. Now, there are a couple different methods for removing uh, band logos off your leather jacket or vest. I'm gonna show you the ones that I use and that have worked best for me in the past. So let's talk about supplies. So before we start, I'm gonna make a disclaimer. I'm specifically talking about DIY punk, maybe heavy metal and goth jackets. And at this point, you know, your jacket's already painted up. There's a bunch of holes in it from studs and spikes. For all intensive purposes, your jacket is already ruined. Now, I would not recommend this method on a brand new expensive leather jacket. Hypothetically speaking, if you spent $400 on a brand new straight to hell leather jacket, you better make damn sure that the logos you put on that jacket are something that you want and that you don't mess up when you put the logos on. But the method that I'm about to show you works great for some DIY janky leather jackets that you don't really care if they get ruined. You're just gonna hide it up with a brand new logo anyway. So let's talk about supplies. Oh shit, not those supplies. So first and foremost, you're obviously going to need a leather jacket with painted logos on it. Now, I've only tried this method out with real leather. If one of you guys wanna try this with a vegan leather jacket, please let me know how it works. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, I only use this method with real leather jackets, and for whatever reason, we want to take this logo off, so we are going to use toothpaste. More specifically, high fluoride toothpaste. Yeah, yeah, I know my subscriber base probably doesn't brush their teeth, but this will be definitely worth the investment. Alternatively, you can use some rubbing alcohol, but I'll talk a little bit more about that later. You're also going to need a wash rag, a piece of cloth, a sock, any sort of fabric, as well as some Q-tips and some flat black acrylic paint and some paint pens. It is also important to note that this method only works with acrylic paint pens. Hypothetically speaking, if you have an entire sleeve that's painted one solid color of acrylic paint, this method will not remove that paint. This only works on acrylic paint pen logos or drawings or whatever's on your jacket. But anyway, as you can see, I have my band logo that I wanna remove. Now I'm gonna be using high fluoride white toothpaste with a little bit of water and a wash rag or any piece of fabric that you have lying around. I find that the sleeves that you cut off your band t-shirts to work exceptionally well. And I'm just going to suds it all up. Now it's very important to note that you really want to work the actual painted logo and try not to hit the leather around the logo too much or you risk of pulling off that first layer of leather. Now alternatively guys, I said that you can use rubbing alcohol to pull off these logos. That is true. But rubbing alcohol really uh, risks uh, taking off that first layer of leather a lot faster than the toothpaste. I've also heard of people using paint thinner and uh, nail polish remover. That's just like the uh, rubbing alcohol. It's very aggressive and it will eat holes through your leather. Underneath that black part of your leather, it's all a uh, gray, sinewy hide. And it's really easy just to eat a hole through that first layer and then you're just stuck with a hole in your jacket. You don't want that. You don't want that at all. It's in your jacket's ruined, it's fucked. But essentially you're just gonna take your toothpaste and just really rub it in there. This probably took me a good 20 minutes just really scrubbing in this, the letters. You really wanna work those letters. Try not too much to get the leather around the letters or the logo, whatever you're working on. Just work on the paint, that's what I'm trying to say. And you can also use Q-tips. I think towards the end, I was kind of uh, scraping it off with my fingernails. Once it's all lathered in there, it comes off pretty easy. I believe it's the grittiness of the toothpaste that helps remove the paint off the leather the same way that it pulls plaque off your teeth. But uh, you people uh, would not know anything about that, would you? I actually found out about this method in 2007 when I first started really getting into painting leather jackets. It was on some uh, punk rock DIY form. And that's honestly, that's how I learned to do a lot of these things. Just reading a lot of forms back in the day. Anyway, enough rambling. As you can see, it took me uh, quite some time to scrub this logo entirely off. Once the majority of the paint's gone, you're not gonna get all the paint, but as long as you get most of it off, you're gonna do a real good wash job with some nice clean water. And as you can see, I did go a little bit too deep around that leather. It doesn't look that great. You can see some of that gray under layer shining through. This is why I prefer using toothpaste as opposed to more corrosive materials like paint thinner or rubbing alcohol, because with the paint thinner or rubbing alcohol, 
it's very easy just to eat through the entire first layer of leather. Yeah, I know I did a little bit too hard with the toothpaste. You know, you live and learn, it does happen. We are going to go over it though. So now that you've got your toothpaste or whatever you were using completely washed off, it is very important that you uh, let your jacket completely dry out in the sun, okay? At least for a couple hours, you want to be bone dry. After a couple hours in the sun, your leather is dry. We are going to come back with some matte black acrylic paint or maybe a black paint pen. Some people might even use a black leather dye. I'm using matte black acrylic paint on a rag. I'm just dabbing it in. You don't want to paint this on. You want to dab it in nice and light. Do a couple nice light layers. This isn't going to be painted. You want to just be dabbed on. You want this to look like the natural leather. You want to hide that you ever removed the logo and any sort of blemishes that you left in the removal process. This should look like a brand new leather jacket fresh to put a new logo on when you're all done. Remember to allow your paint to dry thoroughly between each layer. Once that black paint is completely dry, it is safe to paint on a brand new logo. You won't even know that you had a logo there previously. But here we are, we have a nice blank slate. You could leave that blank, but personally I can tell that some work's been done there. I like to put on a brand new logo just to kind of hide the fact that there used to be a logo on it. And here we go, we got a brand new logo. Throw on here real quick, just like this with the power of editing. I did a little freehand attack logo. Pretty clean, pretty clean. If you guys want to learn how to put logos on leather jackets, highly recommend that you check out this tutorial down below where I show you how to make freezer paper stencils for your leather jacket. But anyway, guys, that was a nice, fun little tutorial. Real easy thing to do, and it's a, a method that not a lot of people know how to do. If you've liked this, then definitely check out my other tutorials. I've been doing this shit since around 2005, 2006. If you're into punk rock, goth, heavy metal, alternative clothes, gear and accessories, then definitely hit that button down below because I have a lot more that I'd love to show you. Until next time, see you later, nerds.